Good morning, children. Today I'm going to teach you all the chapter circles. Okay? As you know, area bounded by a moving point that forms a circle. And in your junior classes, you've learned already a circle has center. A line drawn from the center to the circumference is the radius. Okay? This whole round portion is the circumference. And there will be the diameter. This is the diameter of the circle. And one more thing that you are going to learn here in this chapter is called chord. Okay? Chord means any line that is drawn from one point of the circumference to the other point. It may be any line that has to touch two of the points in a circumference. Let us suppose this is a line which joins this point and this point of the circumference. So this becomes a chord. Okay? If I draw a line, small line over here, this also becomes a chord. Okay? And if we draw a diameter, okay, this is the radius, the other part of the radius, so taking the whole one point, here also it forms one point of the circumference to the other part of the circumference. So here also a diameter can also be named as, the other name for diameter is also a chord. So chord is the, sorry, the diameter is the longest chord we can say now. Okay, because this is also a chord because it is joining one point of the circumference to the other point. So here we are going to relate to the questions based on circumference, chord, uh, radius, center, all these things. Okay, let's suppose. Now the question says, a chord of length 16 centimeter is drawn in a circle, drawn in a circle of diameter 20 centimeters. Okay, of diameter 20 centimeters. Yes? <clears throat> Calculate the distance from the center of the circle. Calculate the distance from the center of us of the circle okay this is what the question says it says a chord of length 16 centimeter is drawn in a circle of diameter 20 centimeters calculate the distance from the center of the circle Okay, rather it should have been calculate its distance. Okay, now let's draw the circle. Center is here. It is saying a chord of length. Let me draw a chord here, which is of length 16 centimeters. Let me name it as AB. Let us suppose that AB is the chord of length 16 centimeters. And the circle has a diameter of 20 centimeter, means to say from here to here it becomes 20 centimeters. But here we are going to use radius to calculate the distance. Okay. That means center from the center to the circumference. This becomes the radius. Now what you can write is oh let A B be the chord of length. 16 centimeters, okay, given diameter is equal to, the diameter has been given to us as 20 centimeters, so hence radius, radius is equal to half of diameter, we know that, is equal to 10 centimeters, yes, that means the distance from O to A, this becomes the radius, the radius is 10 centimeters. What we need to know now is what is the distance between the center to the chord? This distance we are going to find. Let us suppose this is P. Clear? Now here what has been formed is a right angled triangle OPA has been formed. Okay, now, 
in triangle OPA or right angle triangle OPA OA is equal to 10 centimeters we know AP is equal to half of AB because we need to take only the value of AP yes in this triangle only AP has to be taken but we know the value of AB so from AB we're going to find the value of AP so half of AB means half into 16 centimeters that means this is 8 centimeters therefore AP is 8 centimeters now what, what you do is by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem what you can write OA square is equal to OP square plus AP square okay hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square yes OA we can write it as 10 square is equal to OP we don't know plus AP is 8 square 10 square means 100 is equal to OP square plus 64 or OP square is equal to 100 minus 64 OP square is equal to 36 OP is equal to taking the square root on both sides OP can be taken as 6 centimeters therefore OP means the distance from the center to the chord this is how we find therefore the distance from the center to the chord is 6 centimeters okay the first question Okay, this will be the answer and remember one thing uh, sometimes we may have to find the there may be two chords given okay we may have to find either uh, the distance between the two chords or the length of one chord has been given we may have to find the length of the other chord likewise there, there may be questions based on those also okay let's see mm. it says Okay, in the figure, O is the center of a circle, A, B and C, D are two chords on the circle. Two chords are given in this case, okay. O, M is the perpendicular, is perpendicular to A, B and O, N is perpendicular to C, D. If A, B is equal to 24 centimeters, O, M is equal to 5 centimeters, uh, O, N is equal to... 12 centimeters find the radius of the circle okay the diagram has been given like this hmm? here as I told you there are two chords given okay these are the two chords given and the points the lines joining the two chords are given so this is given as C N D this is O center of the circle A M B A M B 
Let's, let's see what things are given. In the figure given below, O is the center of the circle. O is the center. AB and CD are two chords. AB is one chord, CD is the other chord. OM is perpendicular to AB. OM perpendicular to AB. OM is perpendicular here. ON is perpendicular to CD. Again, the other line, ON is perpendicular to CD. Yes? AB is equal to 24 centimeters. This length has been given to us as 24 centimeters. The distance AB. That means one of the chords is given as 24 centimeters. And OM is equal to 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters. ON is given as 12 centimeters. Find the radius of the circle. Okay? Radius of the circle means the distance from O to A or O to C. Or we can think it as to be as O to B also, O to D also. All they are the radii of the circle. So anything can be found. Okay. Solution. What we are going to do is we are going to do we are going to join O and A, okay? So that a right angled triangle will be formed over here. If we join only, then only the right angled triangle will be formed so that we can find the radius of the circle in this case, okay? Then, <coughs> given AB is equal to 24 centimeters, OM is equal to 5 centimeters, ON is equal to 12 centimeters. We need to find the radius of the circle. Radius means OA we are going to find. OA is equal to question mark. Okay? So let's take the first triangle only, OMA. Now, in triangle OMA, okay? What you can take, AM is equal to half of AB. Because we need to take only AM, okay, as a part of this triangle. But the length of AB has been given. So we'll take only the half part of 24 centimeters. So half into 24 centimeters. That will give us 12 centimeters. Okay, so AM is 12 centimeters. Now, we can write AO square is equal to OM square plus AM square by Pythagoras' theorem. Okay? Pythagoras' theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So we don't know AO. AO square is equal to OM is 5 square plus AM, we got just now, 12 square. AO square is equal to 25 plus 144. AO square is equal to 169. AO square, square root, taking the square root on both the sides. Therefore, AO is equal to 13 centimeters. Therefore, the radius of the circle, this is the answer for number one. Radius of the circle is 13 centimeters. The first answer has been found. Okay. Again it asks, find the length of the chord CD. With the help of this, we are going to find the length of the chord CD as well. Okay. We know now, what we can take, AO, is equal to, if we join C and O as well, a new triangle will be formed, CO. What is the reason? Equal radii, both are radii of the circle. Okay, from center to the circumference, center to the circumference. If AO is 13 centimeters, therefore CO is also 13 centimeters. Okay, if this is 13, then this also we can write it as 13 centimeters. Now, we'll take in triangle C and O in triangle C and O, okay? CO square is equal to ON square 
plus C n square. Again, this is also C o square is equal to N o square plus C n square. That is, again, by Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem. Okay. C o square, square is 13 square is equal to 12 square plus C n square. 13 square is 169 is equal to 144 plus C n square. Then we can take C n square is equal to 169 minus 144. Okay, collecting the numbers on one side. If 144 is taken to the other side, the sign will change, okay? Cn square is equal to 25. Taking the square root on both the sides to remove the square over here. Square root of 25 as well. Therefore, Cn is equal to 5 centimeters. Yes? But here we are getting the value of Cn as 5 centimeter means to say that Cn is just half part of the chord. The whole length of the chord is from C to D. CD is the chord given to us, but we found only Cn, right? Now what, what you can write is CD is equal to Cn plus ND. We can write that. CD is equal to the length of CN plus ND. Or CD is equal to, we can write, 5 centimeters plus 5 centimeters again. Because ND and C, CN, they have got the same value. So within bracket, you can write because CN is equal to ND. CN and ND have got equal values because this line drawn from the center to reach the chord, it is it bisects the chord. That is one of the theorems okay, that we have in circle. So therefore, CD is equal to 10 centimeters for the second part of the question. Hence, the length of chord CD is equal to 10 centimeters. This is how we find. Okay? Taking the help of one triangle, finding one value from there, taking the same value for the other triangle because both are radii. Okay? In the first triangle, the distance between the center and the chord was given and the length of the chord was given. With the help of those two, we found the radius. Since the radii of a circle are all equal, Okay, this radius and this radius, the two radii are equal to each other. So, if this is coming as 13, this also is equal to 13. So, with the help of this radius of the circle and the distance between the center to the chord once again, that's given 12 centimeters, we can find the length of CN, which is half part of the chord. Now, the total length of the chord, CD, will be double of CN. So, this is we get how we get the length of the other chord, right? Now remember one thing, in this circle there are some theorems that you need to understand. Okay, there are some theorems that you need to understand. The first theorem says, as I was explaining, the line drawn from the center to bisect the chord, this is the chord AB, the first theorem, okay, I'm talking about the first theorem, theorem 1. The line drawn from the center to bisect the chord. If the line is drawn from the center, it bisects the chord AB. Then, if it bisects, then here a perpendicular will be formed. That's the first theorem. Okay? The converse of that theorem, what we can say is, if a line is drawn perpendicular to the chord, then it bisects the line. Okay? That's the second theorem. The third theorem says, equal chords are equidistant from the center. Means to say, if we draw equal chords over here, if we draw two chords which are of equal length, let us suppose these two are the chords, A, B, C, D. This is the third theorem I'm, talk theorem I'm talking about, okay? 
If we draw equal chords, then the distance between the chord and the center, the chord and the center, they will also be equal. Remember that. If the chords are equal, then the distance between the center to the respective two chords will also be equal. Converse of the theorem is that if two lines, if the distance between the center to the chord and the distance between the center to the other chord are equal, then the chords are also equal. Just one theorem is the converse of the other one. First theorem is the converse of the second one. Third theorem is the converse of the fourth one. Remember these th four theorems, okay? So with the help of these theorems, you can easily calculate the values of the chords or the distance or the radius, whatever has been asked, okay? Next question, what you are going to do? Now, let's see, the question it may be asked as, in a circle, of radius 5 cm, A, B and C, D are two parallel chords of length 8 cm and 6 cm respectively. Uh, calculate the distance between the chords if they are on the same side of the center. Now, sometimes it may happen that there may be two parallel chords which are placed either on the same side of the center or they may be placed on the opposite sides of the center. Suppose this is a circle. Okay, if it says chords are at the same side of the center, that means to say this is the center, the chords may be placed this way. Okay, that means from this center it is downwards, both the chords are downwards on the same side or it may be here, the two chords may be here. This is also placed on the same side of the center, on the right hand side of the center. Both the chords are on the right hand side of the center. So, so we can say they are on the same sides. Or it may be here, two chords, or it may be here. Okay, this is what? If the chords are on the same side of the center, then how do we calculate? This, let us suppose these two other chords. This will be the radius. This will be the radius, okay? A, B, and C, D are the chords. Okay, O is the center of the circle. Then, a circle of radius five centimeter. Okay, in a circle of radius five centimeters. This is five centimeters. This also is five centimeters because from here to here is also radius. From here to here is also the radius. Uh, two chords of length eight centimeter and six centimeter respectively. That means the length of AB is eight centimeters and the length of CD is six centimeters. Obviously, you know, this is the longer chord, so this has more value. This is the shorter chord, so this has less value, okay? Calculate the distance between the chords. Now, what is the distance between the chords? So we draw a line joining, crossing both the chords, okay? Let us suppose, this point is P and this point is Q. Now, after having drawn the diagram, what you can write in triangle OPA. We are taking the triangle OPA like this. OPA. Okay, this is five centimeters. Okay, now this is AP. AP means the whole length of the chord is four cent eight centimeters, means AP will be four centimeters. Now we need to find OP in triangle OPA, okay? AB is equal to eight centimeters, therefore AP is equal to half of AB or half into eight centimeters, we get four centimeters, okay? AP is four centimeters. Now, with the help of that, what you can find by Pythagoras' theorem, same way, what you can do? AO square is equal to AP square plus OP square. Okay? AO square is equal to AP square plus OP square. Now, with putting the values, 5 square is equal to 4 square plus OP square. 25 is equal to 16 plus OP square. OP square is equal to 25 plus 16, uh, minus 16, I'm sorry. 16 goes to the other side. OP square is equal to 9 
OP is equal to 3 centimeters because taking the square root of both sides, we get OP as 3 centimeters. Okay? Now, we are going to take the other triangle now. In triangle OQC, OQC. Now, we are going to take this triangle, OQC. OQC. Okay? Again, OC is again 5 centimeters. CD has been given as 6 centimeters. That means OQ will be 3 centimeters. We know that. Okay? Now, we can write. We have, we have to show our workings. CD is equal to 6 centimeters. CQ will be equal to half of CD or CQ is equal to half into 6 centimeters is equal to 3 centimeters. So this is 3 centimeters. Likewise, we are going to find we are going to find OQ. Now, by Pythagoras' theorem, we are taking in triangle. Let's write in triangle first, in triangle OQC. Okay, by Pythagoras' theorem, OC square is equal to OQ square plus CQ square. Okay, OC square, we can write 5 square is equal to OQ square, we don't know, plus 3 square. 25 is equal to OQ square plus 9. OQ square is equal to 25 minus 9. OQ square is equal to 16. OQ is equal to taking the square root on both the sides, we get 4 centimeters. Okay, OQ we got 4 centimeters. Now, Actually, the question has been asked to find the distance between the two chords. Okay, what is the distance between AB and CD? That means the distance between AB and CD means the whole length, whole distance between OQ and OP. Okay, so PQ is equal to OQ minus OP. Okay. PQ is equal to OQ, we got the value 4 centimeters, minus OP, we got the value 3 centimeters. Therefore, PQ is equal to, PQ is the distance, okay, 1 centimeters. Therefore, the distance between the two chords is 1 centimeter. Okay? Distance between the two chords means the distance between P and Q. That value will be equal to 1 centimeters. Okay? This is how we solve the question on circles where the chord has been given, the radius has been given, okay? Or the distance between the two chords have been given likewise. If the question says, um, if they are on the opposite side of the center, this is the first part, if they are on the opposite side of the center, let me just explain it to you all. The diagram will be somewhat like this. Diagram will be somewhat like this. O is here, center of the circle. One chord is here, the other chord is here. They are on the opposite sides of the center. Okay. And the length AB and CD, same way, AB, CD, these are the two chords. The radius has been given. Okay, one length of the chord is 8 centimeters. The other length has been given 6 centimeters. Now they are on the opposite side. The radius has been given 5 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. And this is as well 5 centimeters. Now we have to find the distance. Now in this case, what you are going to take is we are going to take the triangle. Okay, let's suppose this is x, this is y. Okay. Now what you are going to take is the triangle AXO. Okay, AXO. This has been, now we can know that this is 4 centimeters, the half part of chord, AB, okay? AX is half of AB. So this is 4, this is 5. We can find the value of XO. XO can be found using Pythagoras' theorem. Again, the second one, O is given, C is given, Y is given, okay? This is 5 and this is 3 centimeters. The length of the chord is 6, means half of the 
distance of the chord is 3 centimeters. So we can find OY also. After having found XO and OY, that will give us the total length of the distance between the two chords if they are situated on the opposite sides. The method of doing is same. Okay, use Pythagoras' theorem and find the distance perpendicular here and perpendicular here. Add them up, we get the distance between the two chords. Okay, practice this, children. And in case there are any questions, please let me know. Okay, thank you very much for today.